Hey everybody, welcome to yet another installment of Split Second, the show where we talk about watches, the memes kind of want to make their way in here, but I try to keep them at bay, and they just keep coming And Nah, who am I kidding? I love the memes. You love the memes. We all love the memes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive right into it, huh? Before proceeding, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell, too, so you're notified whenever I publish a new video. Now, change is inevitable. You know, it's the only constant in the world. Things are always changing. And, you know, I just feel like it's time for a, a significant paradigm shift on this show. I got gloves! <laughs> what do you think, huh? Pretty neat. There's a couple of benefits, you know. No more nasty scabs like the one I got on my thumb here. If I'm working on the car, and no more grime under my nails. You know, um, no more leaving smudges on the watches. So, you know, it's, it's, I, I think it's a pretty cool, neat, a pretty cool move, huh? Plus... Every other watch reviewer has white gloves, but I have black gloves because I am so dark. Ooh. I'm going to insert some metal music here. <laughs> Whatever, man. Um, but hey, I got something real special for y'all today. It's, uh, it's another unboxing. Yeah, I know. This is starting to feel like the unboxing channel, but you know, I, I try to spread them out. <laughs> but let's take a look. I got a real special package from... France, oui, omelette du fromage, <laughs> whatever, man. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a quick look here. And uh, yep, I got this from a friend of the channel, Renaud. Renaud, I am so sorry, man. I know I'm butchering the pronunciation of your name, Renaud, Renaud, Renaud. It's one of those, and I'm sure you're going to let me know once you see this. <laughs> but um, I can't do an unboxing without my handy-dandy battering knife. Alright, and we have a box, of course. A box inside a box. That's what this is all about. Let's move this to one side. Very carefully packaged here. Oh! <laughs> See, I love this watch collecting hobby. I can't think of anything else where you could buy a Russian watch from a Frenchman that you met through a British watch group. Let's take a look here and... Oh! So... We have an instruction manual, which, come on guys, yeet! A little warranty card. And here is the watch itself. So this is the CCCP Sputnik 1, I believe it's called. And this is, this is bigger than I thought it was. Um, this is something like... Well, <laughs> first and foremost, we got some stickers. Oh, and a, a mummy wrapping, but... I did not think this through when I got gloves. Haha, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Has a convenient little arrow. Ah, oh, that is so satisfying. Bam. Alright. We've got another little bit here. Kind of stubborn. There we go. Ooh, nice sign buckle. And we got a couple hand tags. Oh, no, no, not a couple, just one. No, wait, we do have a couple, couple hand tags. And let me just, uh, let me just relieve the watch of those. Perfect. All right. This is quite nice. It looks like, yeah. 
we have a screw down crown. Do we? No, no, we don't. Just felt kind of rough there. I'm still getting used to the gloves, people. But yeah, it is running. And we have. Oh, yes. And one on the case back. Boom. Oh, nice. I like the uh, display case back here. Yeah, I got a, I got a bunch of uh, Yakov Smirnoff and Rocky Four references, but I'm I'm gonna leave those for the full review. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I like the crystal here. I'm not sure what this is. If it's sapphire or if it's mineral, it's probably mineral. I don't know. Um, we got a uh, genuine leather. I am not a fan of the faux croc. I am definitely gonna be changing this. But yeah, this looks a little bit larger than I thought it was. Let's take a look with the calipers and see what we got here. Just out of curiosity. And this is a 43. Huh. Alright, looks smaller in the pictures. But man, that is nice. And uh, these are probably 22. Yeah, I got plenty of 22s that I can put this on. This is nice. I like it. It's got it's got kind of like um it's hard to put my finger on what the design remind me of, reminds me of. It's it's kind of, it's got kind of like that Soviet Cold War aesthetic to it. I I really dig this. All right. Um, oh, by the way, I am wearing my Seagull 1963 on a cheapest NATO straps flamingo strap. So, huh? Inadvertently, these two watches have something in common. This is a 1957, and this is a 1963. So both of these have years in their model names, I assume? I don't know much about CCCP, so if anybody knows about CCCP and wants to leave me anything in the comments telling me about this watch, by all means, I just kind of like the way it looked and that's why I bought it. So let's get a quick wrist shot and we'll call it a day. And there we go. That's looking quite nice, I think. Looks like we're getting 6.6 six per second. Not a fan of this strap. It's really kind of stiff. I'm definitely going to change this out. But yeah, otherwise, I'm very happy with the look of this thing. So that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Rena. Rena. Renu. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> Thank you for this awesome watch. I really do appreciate it. And you know what? I don't care what the Simpson says. The French are more than just cheese eating surrender monkeys. Stay safe, mask up, and remember be kind to each other because life can change in a split second. Whoa! You made it all the way to the end of the video? Really? That's amazing. Even I don't make it all the way to the end of the video. Well, if you like what you saw, click here for another video and click here to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell so you're notified whenever I publish a new video. Thanks for watching.